Hi guys, this is Jordan here from Ersen Volen and welcome to my channel. So, today, right now, we are in Auvergne, in France, and that's gonna be pretty interesting for two main reasons. First one, this is the first time for me in this area, so it's gonna be a lot of, of new things, new discoveries, and secondly, I have some special company today, because my brother, Tommy here <laughs> is here for uh, I think the first time, maybe the second time with me um, in, in the fuzz with the rooftop tent. So that's gonna be pretty awesome. Today we're gonna visit some caves, some old buildings and we're gonna also do some an overland tour to explore the area. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is our first camp spot here. And as you can see, the weather is not really with us. It's um, yeah, it's a bit rainy, but we had a great night in the rooftop tent. It's really quiet around here. And right now, we're gonna pack up the rooftop tent, leave the camp spot, and go for um, the exploration. We started the day by visiting some caves. I love caves, and this one were particularly interesting. The caves were dug in the granites of Mount Cornador by the hand of man. These are ancient Roman natural baths dating from the 1st century. They are supplied with water by two hot springs, a source of ferrous water and a source of salt water. The first room is the warm room, called the Tepidarium. It was used as an underground hospital and was ventilated through clever ducts. The second hot room, called Coldarium, was made of a self-cleaning bath. We can still see two perfectly preserved. There used to be a third large cold water room which, unfortunately, gradually collapsed. The water from the cave is also used for petrification crafts, by depositing calcium bicarbonate. After the caves, we visited the village, and luckily, we were here on time for the lastest markets of the season. And obviously, we had to try some local food. The truffade, which is basically potatoes with cheese. Or maybe cheese with potatoes. And with our stomach full, we started our overland tour. That's the kind of situation you're really happy to be to during the trip. And actually, we're, we visited the caves this morning, have uh, some fun in the village. It was Saint Nectar, uh, which is named uh, from the, the local cheese, which is also very good. And now we are off for um, an overland trip, a bit of off-road trip around this village, Saint Nectar, and the mural castle you can see behind me and that's gonna be a nice tour it's um, almost 30 kilometers I think that's gonna be enough for uh, this afternoon and then we're gonna find another nice camp spot the weather seems pretty good it's not raining so that's gonna be good
Okay, so the area and the trails are pretty rocky with pretty sharp rocks actually. So, you know the drill, just gonna deflate the tires for a smoother ride and better grip and when, you know, it's gonna be better. Guys, we had to stop. Ooh. Good. good? Very good. It's so tasty. <laughs> Je ne roule pas dessus hein. C'est bon Landscapes here are unique. It's a mix of forest, hills, and meadows.
Okay, so the trials were pretty pretty nice. It's a beautiful area and we're almost at the end of the track and normally there will be a pretty tricky and challenging hill climb. Hill climb. And so we'll see. We are driving right through it. It's uh, in the forest. So let's see how it is and uh, hopefully we can make it through. On our way to this supposedly gnarly hill climb, we came across this waterfall, which is surprisingly in the middle of a small village. And it seems like we weren't the only one interested by it. Okay, so we stepped out of the car to do a bit of recon on the tracks. As you saw, it's really narrow and it's supposed to be a very tricky and challenging hill climb or hill climb, I don't know how to pronounce that. And um, so we're just looking at the trails because there's not a lot of uh, area to turn around if it's too tricky. And uh, so far it's doable, I guess. What do you think? Yes, it is. <laughs> so we're gonna keep the recon mission and see how it is. Okay, so we walk actually the entire trail and it's a beautiful one, a bit with some uh, rocky and a bit technical section, but it's totally doable. The only problem is the exits of the track and there is a massive rock step here uh, that's obviously going to be a problem. Uh, it's actually in the turn, in the corner, so <laughs> it's going to be even more technical and, uh, you know, massive rocks here. It might be doable, but um, it's not the point of today's adventure. So, sadly, we're going to... Uh, we're going to reverse and uh, get back to the car. And that's a shame because we had a, a nice, tricky uh, bridge to cross here. It would have been awesome, but the exit is just right here and it's too sketchy for, for me all along here. And we also have tomorrow to explore, so if I break something here, it's done. Okay, so we found two nights camp spot. And right now we bought some local stuff, beer, cheese and... Uh, sausage, come on, saucisson. Saucisson. Saucisson, you know, local saucisson. <laughs> so we're gonna hit everything, like for um, so, so before the lunch. That's gonna be cool. Is here, which is the Saint Nectar, just like the the village we were. We got some. Wild pig saucisson. <sighs> and a, a blonde for me. And some bread too. It was a fun and relaxing moment spent with my brother. The kind of moments you don't forget about.
We both worked on setting up the camp and we even took a moment to try to spot some wildlife. But something piqued our interest. So we took our shower before the sunset because it, uh, it's, it's always better. And now we are looking at this big boulder here. It's just, it's actually just near our camp spot because we are parked here. And I think it should be a natural formation. Okay, from this side, I don't think it's <laughs> natural anymore because it's uh, completely like curved by humans um, in, the, in, the, in the rocks and I think it's like paved here so uh, yeah, it's probably not natural Okay, Tommy, so what time is it? It's time to eat! <laughs> <laughs> it's burrito time! So we're gonna set up the kitchen and, um, and make the burritos. <laughs> okay! Um, Kidney beans, chicken, cheddar, um, olive, olive, real olive, some pepper, um, corn, the, the wraps, like the, the wraps. This is a weird scenery, but it's pretty beautiful. That's a big burrito. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll this bad boy, if we can. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that's gonna be a disaster. But you have to close it at one hand. It's impossible. Mamma mia. You're a, yeah. real, you're a gringos. Take a bite. Thirsty. It's your time to roll the berry too. It's gonna be fine. I'm used to it. Oh. 
Oh, oh no! There's a massive... <laughs> There's a massive hole in the tortilla. Oh, that's gonna be sketchy. It's pretty good, but uh, it's, a, it's a disaster. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. I'm pretty glad we have some water left because we're gonna have to wash our hands. Sure. All right, guys, so it's getting real dark and actually it's also start to rain. So we're gonna climb in the rooftop tent and I don't know, watch some movies and uh, have some good sleep. See you tomorrow, guys. All right, guys, so this is already the end of this video, but I will see you in a part two, and this one is gonna be in Mongolia. So stay tuned. And if you like this video, you can subscribe to the channel and also check my Instagram account and my brand new website. I also wanted to thank all my Patreon for their support because it's thanks to them that I'm able to go on an adventure like that. So thank you guys for watching. See you next week in a part two.